So retailers don't act, don't respond. The chief executive, Sue Chetwin, says she will take the issue or the matter to Trade Commissioner Todd McClay. Amid or with concerns, some businesses are using the expiry system to earn revenue. Revenue is money coming in. Okay. Who are these people? You should know them. Tax people. Tax people. Okay. They collect taxes. Inland Revenue Department in New Zealand, IRD. In America, it's. Oh, sorry, it's not system, it's service. Inland Revenue Service for the US. But their job is the same. They collect money from the people. Okay? Revenue is money coming in. Money coming in. Same as income. Okay. Uh, to earn revenue without having to yield or give up goods or services. So the car's expired, the shop's got you $100, no one's used it, so the shop keeps the goods and keeps the $100. Great deal. Okay. Unfair expiry dates mean many consumers are getting stuck with cards they can't redeem. Getting st if you're stuck with something, what's that? Like? You have no choice, okay? If you're stuck with something, you have no choice. Okay, first one. He was stuck for $100. What's that mean? Anyone guess? He was cheated out of $100. Oh. Stuck for can mean cheated out of. Or somebody invites you to dinner and you end up paying the bill, not the other person. That's sticking it to someone, okay? He was stuck with the sister for two weeks. What's that mean? Sound good? Um, no. 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 no choice. It means, yeah, no choice. The sister came, stayed with him for two weeks. He would rather she had not, okay? So if he was forced to be with. Generally slightly negative in meaning, okay? And I'm sure everyone loves your sister, but sometimes you don't love your sister, okay? You want her out of the way. He was stuck with the sister for two weeks. He was stuck on the desert road. What's that mean? Didn't not go anywhere. Car broken down, mm. okay? Car broken down. Are not working. So you can see we can use this word stuck for many, many different things. Be cheated out of something, to put up with something we don't like, or just simply not working. Okay? So this is not the past tense of a stick? Yeah, the verb to stick. The verb to stick. Um, He likes to stick it to people. What's that? Sound good? Or spend time no. with people, no. cheating? Sort of being rude, maybe cheating, okay? Okay. The slang is slang, okay, but uh, it does show up, okay? Stick it to them, in other words, Drive it in harder, okay, more emphasis on it. So here, I'm getting stuck with, this one here, forced to keep, okay, forced to keep with cards they can't redeem or here, use, okay. Chetwin said, you know, people may go on a holiday. A lot of people didn't even look at the expiry dates and these cards. Some people didn't even realise they had an expiry date. They just put them in their purse or wallet and forget about them. And then when they go to buy something, oh, this is expired, okay? Based on the typical gift card value, what do you think that would be? Typical gift card value. Anyone here buy gift cards? What, what's the normal value? You know, what amount would you normally put on one? 100. 
$30? About a $50 to $100, somewhere like that. I got a $50, I got a $100 one as a Christmas present from one of my students, yeah. parents. Uh, I also got a special occasion could go up to $100. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was surprised. It was $100. Mm -hmm. And another time I got another one for $50. Okay. But yeah, fifty to hundred. For the kids' birthday gift or things like that. Like yeah, you don't want to buy, so just give a gift card. Gift card. Yeah, yeah. Here's a hundred dollars. Go and spend it on whatever. Okay. A lot of husbands do that. They don't want to buy their wife. Here's a gift card. Three hundred dollars. Go to some shop and buy something. Okay. Uh, but yeah, fifty to hundred dollars about the average price. Okay. We estimate or calculate consumers. Who are they? Us. Well, we've got five of them here, six of them here in this room, <laughs> okay, buy and sell stuff, would be losing as much as $10 million annually. In our view, in our opinion, retailers know people may not always use gift vouchers. So, not only do they get the money, they get to keep the goods, she said. We would like to see retailers decide themselves to change the way they work. Think that'll work? You think the retailers are going to voluntarily tell everyone, call them up a week before the card expires and say, you still got to use your $100? No. I doubt it very much, <laughs> okay? I doubt it very much. They're going to hope and pray that they forget. Okay? Leaving, leaving stuff for businesses and companies to sort out by themselves sometimes is not a good idea, okay? Because they don't do it. They simply ignore it. Um, and if they don't, we will push it a bit harder with the minister. What's that mean? Push it a bit harder with the minister. Well, first step, they'll ask him politely, okay? Can you change this? And if that doesn't work, they may start to put pressure on. Press, TV, talk shows, stuff like that. So, so they're putting pressure on the minister. And with the ministers we have, they need a lot of pressure. They need a lot of pressure, okay? to see if there's something that can't be done under fair trading. What's fair trading? It's an act of parliament, which mean, which guarantees that you get a good, a fair deal when you buy something, okay? Fair Trading Act, it's called, and it guarantees, well, it's supposed to, that you get what you pay for, basically. Questions? <coughs> 